What's up everyone, Mark here and Ethan here, the Gear Advisor Pro from Jensen USA. And we're gonna go over one of the leading premier women's focus brands, Juliana, and a couple of these bikes. So let's get into them. In 1999, Julie Furtado was the driving force behind the first woman-specific mountain bike. And with the help of Santa Cruz Bicycles, the Juliana was born. Now, almost 25 years later, Juliana Bikes is a staple in the women's mountain bike scene. With four different models to accommodate all types of riding, finding a woman-specific mountain bike has never been easier. What makes a Juliana different from a Santa Cruz? Juliana bikes are more lady-specific, so you get different color options, you get grips in a saddle that is more specific to a woman's liking, and the biggest thing is the rear shock is tuned for a lighter rider. That's awesome. Um, and I think that's really important out there, right? We need to think that not every rider, in the same sense, like not every rider is gonna be the same. And I think with Juliana coming into the scene, it really offers that exact feel that women riders wanna have out there on the trail. They don't have to do so much adjustment. Juliana has kind of done that legwork for them and made it easier for them to get out there and have a great time. Yeah, exactly, Mark. With the women's mountain bike scene growing, especially over the last couple years, it's great to see companies like Juliana stepping in and making great products to give women the bike they need to get out there on the trails. All right, so we decided to bring two models in this video uh, for these Juliana bikes, and these are specifically focused on cross country and trail riding, right? A little bit more shorter travel. So we picked up the Joplin and we picked up the Wilder. Why don't you tell us a little bit about these bikes and maybe the type of rider that they're for? Well, Mark, the Wilder is more equipped towards a cross country style rider who wants a bike that's gonna to get to the top of the hill the fastest. While the Joplin is more of a traditional trail bike, you get a little bit more travel up front and in the rear, and also a bike that's more designed to handle the descents while also getting you to the top of the hill quick. That's awesome. Um, you know, and I know like for this bike specific, like it has the VPP, right? That can be flipped. Exactly, they have a flip chip in the rear so you can adjust the head tube angle. That also adjusts the seat tube angle, the bottom bracket height, as well as the reach on the bike. That's awesome. Um, so if you're one of the persons that, you know, maybe you're looking to race every once in a while, or maybe you're, you know, in the high school cross country team, you're saying the Wilder is gonna be that perfect bike to get you out there, get you on the racing, but what about can you take that Wilder out to your local trails and still have a great time with your friends? Yeah, I would say the Wilder's a great bike if you're looking to do a lot of cross-country events, but also want a bike to ride the trails on the weekend. The Joplin's more of your gonna go out and ride single track every weekend or a couple times a week type of bike. Absolutely. But could you race this bike? Yeah, you could for sure race it, but you're definitely gonna get some faster PRs on the Wilder. Now, as far as the Joplin goes, we know this is more trail bike. Can you tell us a little bit about the trail bike aspect of the Joplin? The Joplin is built with a slacker head tube and seat tube angle, so you have a confident ride through rocky terrain or fast single track on descents. Out of the box, the Joplin comes with a 65.7 degree head tube angle and a 76 degree seat tube angle. And keep in mind, if you flip the chip back there, you're gonna get a little bit more slacker head tube angle and a slacker seat tube angle to have a little bit more fun out there on the trails. All right, so why don't you tell us a little bit, a little bit about these specific builds that we got here with the Joplin and the Wilder and you know, the different options that are available for people. Yeah, for sure. Because Juliana Bikes is you know, manufactured by Santa Cruz, they offer similar build kits, starting with the C-level frames, going all the way up to the CC level frames. Here with us today on this Wilder, it's going to be the CGX Axis build. So let's get into the parts and take a look at what you get for the price. So the build kit we have here today starts at just under $6,700 and you get a pretty good bike for the price. Up front, you get a 120 millimeters travel Fox 34 step cast. And in the rear, you get 115 millimeters of travel on a Fox float DPS. And for the drivetrain, you get the new GX transmission, which offers great performance for a great price. And as far as the brakes go, you get the SRAM two piston level silver stealth. Now, when we look at the wheels of the bike, you get the Race Face Arc 27 wheels, and then they're laced up to DT Swiss 370 hubs. The tires mounted to the previously said wheels are the Maxxis Recon Race, both front and rear. You also get a Fox Transfer SL dropper posts and a set of carbon handlebars. All right, Ethan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Joplin here? The build kit we're looking at on the Joplin today is going to be the CGX Axis build kit that has the GX transmission drivetrain. 
So up front, you get the Fox 34 Performance Elite. It has the Grip 2 damper inside of it. In the rear, you also get the Fox Flow DPS. You get 130 millimeters of travel up front and 120 millimeters of travel in the rear. As far as the wheels go, you're gonna get the Race Face Arc 30 rims, and they're also laced up to DT Swiss 370 hubs. And while we're still taking a look at the wheels, you'll notice that the Wilder comes with the SRAM centerline rotors, while the Joplin comes with the SRAM HS2s, which provides more braking power down rougher descents. On the Joplin, you're also gonna get different tires in the Wilder, which is a forecaster up front and a forecaster in the rear. One of the things I like about the Joplin is that it comes with a glove box, which is great when you need to store some tools or maybe some snacks for a long ride. This build we're looking at comes in at just under $6,900. All right, so whether you're looking for the cross-country race bike from Juliana or you're looking for the trail bike with the Joplin, you can't really go wrong whether it's a Wilder or the Joplin. You're gonna get that bike exactly as you need. And if you're looking for more mountain biking content, make sure to look down below as we got tons of content coming on out. And we are so stoked to be carrying Juliana and Santa Cruz bikes, so stay tuned.